We are here at the glorious Dermalogica pop-up in central London in Soho, no other, of course. And I'm here with Victoria, who is our education manager, a very important lady. So darling, I asked my wonderful followers with their burning questions about exfoliating, because actually it's a bit of a minefield out there. It is, yeah. So I picked out a couple of good ones that I would love for you to answer. So the first one is, can you exfoliate too much or does it depend on the type of exfoliant or how harsh it is? Yes. So you can exfoliate too much, most definitely. And I think today you can get your hands on all kinds of acids and at-home chemical peels. And I think a lot of people have been a little bit put off if they've done something a bit too much, maybe burnt their skin or got a lot of irritation and sensitivity. And I know that a lot of people are, are scared of exfoliating because of that. Um, but there are formulas that you can use every single day that are gentle and um, are daily milk foliant. I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, our daily milk foliant is actually designed for all skins, including sensitive skin. Mm -hmm. And it's actually a calming oat-based powder exfoliant. So it's got a little bit of chemical exfoliation with, with some acids and enzymes, but it also replenishes the skin's moisture barrier and it's also super hydrating and calming and soothing. And a bit of a quick question from me. I've been using the milk foliant every day now for the past few months. And is it the oat in it as an ingredient that I find it so calming? Because my skin can be really quite red and inflamed most of the time. And now I've become addicted to using it because I think it feels so wonderful. Yeah. And the look of my skin. Yeah, definitely. The, the oat um, powder, which is the base of the product, actually gives a very, very gentle buffing action on the skin, but there's also oat bran. So that's almost like the active part of oats, mm -hmm. and it's rich in something called abine anthramides, which replaces the lipids in your barrier. So that mm -hmm. gives that soothing, calming, replenishing element to, from the oats, yeah. Brilliant question. So what is the difference slash benefit between the milk foliant and the daily microfoliant. I mean, the daily microfoliant is our cult product, right? Yes, hero product. And the, the key difference really is, is the overall benefit. So our key hero product daily microfoliant, our original powder exfoliant, it has a little bit more granule um, to it from the rice bran, and it's very smoothing, but it's very brightening on the skin. Mm -hmm. The new milk folian is more about calming and replenishing the skin, but both are gentle daily use exfoliants. Well, should we mention the sick new branding? <laughs> it looks so good in my cabinet. Lovely. I'm like, oh, looks so good. So the third one, this is interesting, and I think with your knowledge, you'll be really, really well placed to answer this. So the person who's asking this is saying, should I use an AHA, a BHA, or a retinol, or all of them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think this is the danger of where people end up over exfoliating their skin. So AHA is alpha hydroxy acids. They are um, an exfoliating acid, but they have hydrating and brightening benefits, things like lactic acid. A BHA or a beta hydroxy acid is an oil loving acid. Salicylic acid is a good example. So that tends to be good if your skin is more oily and congested because it can exfoliate in the pores. And then retinol is a vitamin A derivative that has an exfoliating action, but in a different way. So it gradually starts to speed up the skin renewal in, in the skin. So yes, in theory, you could use all of them if you were a really advanced skincare user. Even something like the Gentle Daily Milk Foliant contains AHA and BHA, but a little small percentage so that it's safe for daily use. Um, and somebody who maybe is a little bit more advanced could use that every morning and use their retinol product at night. Yeah. So you could use all of them, but definitely something to build up to. Final question and a very good one. Do we get used to skin products? Mine aren't really working anymore. Should I change it up? Uh, it's a really, really interesting question. No, your skin doesn't get used to product, but your skin changes. And I think people underestimate the fact that your skin is a living, breathing organ and can literally change daily. Mm -hmm. So we would always, always advise that you see your skin therapist at least every month to six weeks, because essentially you have a new epidermis every month. Your skin constantly renews itself um, and your skin responds to its environment, your internal health, your physical, mental health, everything. So um, it's good to kind of check in. So if you feel like your skincare products aren't working, um, it's not because they've got used to the products because mm -hmm. your skin needs something different. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Victoria. That was really informative. Thank you.